So how do you calculate the interest rate? So basically you go and do this exercise together. Less than that. So at the end, if your mortgage company repossesses you, maybe you're gonna owe even more. So I say for example, we're cash flowing 4,000 pounds um, a month. We make sure that we only have to pay for interest back to you 2,000 pounds most. Help you immediately by paying your uh, monthly payment In this video, we're going to talk about Andreas's capital, how it works and what it is for, so you'll understand the, whole, the, the basics of it. Basically, Andreas's capital is a capital fund that has been thought of in order to invest in UK properties and properties in general. So how do we, first of all, is, is how is the capital secure? The capital is secure because what we do is we use that money for two main purposes. One is to actually put, put it down as a down payment when we buy real estate. Normally we try to negotiate, negotiate very good deals so that when I say good deals is that we're able relatively quickly to refinance the deal and pull all the money back out so that whatever you give us is there available on the, in our bank accounts relatively quickly if you want it back. So it's secure because of that. And also the, actually one of the other questions is, is how you actually get um, the interest. How do we pay you the interest? Where do we find the money for the interest? Very simple. We already have a number of po uh, properties that cash flow positively. So every month they generate income positive cash flow. So when we receive your cash from your investment into uh, Andres's capital, we calculate, and we'll show you how we calculate it, uh, we can actually do it uh, yourself, that interest and give it to you monthly through standing order. And we take it off the money that comes in through our re existing real estate. So that is taken care of. And normally our amount of borrowing actually is always when we have when we have to pay interest we make sure it's less that our current positive cash flow in the region of fifth maximum 50 percent of the positive cash flow that is to say say for example we're cash flowing four thousand pounds um, a month we make sure that we only have to pay for interest back to you two thousand pounds most so we don't go over a certain threshold because we want to be able to sleep well at night because if we go higher than that if tenant doesn't pay something goes wrong then we're running into troubles so we m might make sure we're quite conservative we make sure that we are borrowing in terms of interest less than, than a tops 50 percent of our cash so how do we make money so using your money very simple we know how to invest in real estate and normally uh, when we put money down on real estate, the, the, the money that we get back is in the region of 20% return on investment or more, sometimes 15, really depends. But the interest that we pay you is less. So by using your money, we get, we leverage your money to get extra return on investment. Say for example, if we pay just 7% and we get a deal where we get a 15% return on investment, that difference 15 minus, minus seven is 8%, we get an 8% ca positive cash flow on money that we don't actually have, your money. So this is how we make money out of it. Um, how, if you want the principle, I mean, when we're talking about loan loans, we've got the interest in the principle. The interest is the amount that we pay to you on interest on whatever you gave us. And the principal is the amount that you give us. Say for example, you give us 10,000 pounds, the, the principal is 10,000 pounds. So this is the amount that is up to you when you want it. And the interest is whatever the interest is in 10,000 pounds is at that rate. So, and that we pay you monthly. Now, when you request your money, very likely we already have the cash in the bank, so we can actually give it to you 
quite quickly. But if not, unfortunately, you have to wait up until the end of cash recycle when we refinance on the property deal that we've been working on and we actually got the cash from the refinance, the bank refinancing, and we can get back, get, give it back to you. In the unlikely case where, and it can happen, where the cash is still trapped into the house, so the, the house, the investment in real estate, what we mean by that is that through refinance we couldn't get all the money, all the money out, then we have to wait a little while in order to actually get a positive cash flow to pay also the principal back. So the risk uh, with your money, so that that you know. And we're not risky people. We uh, I absolutely hate not being able to sleep at night. Uh, so. I'm very careful with other people's money. When do I get it? So you actually make your requests, look at the terms and conditions and how that works and, and so on. When do you get paid your interest? As soon as you give us the money, uh, 30 day, a month after, you're gonna get paid by bank uh, standing order. We try to work out so that you're gonna get paid every first of the month because this is our payday every first of the month. We get people paying us rent and we get your money at the at the beginning of the month as well through standing order. So how do you calculate the interest rate? So basically you go you can do this exercise together when uh, we're actually agreeing on uh, on a loan. We're going to go into a mortgage calculator, interest only mortgage calculator, put the interest rate that we're borrowing at and you'll see the amount of interest due to you monthly yourself. So it's very, very simple. And mortgage calculators are found on online quite easily. So hopefully that clarifies Andreas's capital and um, you, uh, you find this video enjoyable and we hope to make your money work hard for you. So in this example, what we're going to do, we're going to show you how the lease option agreement can actually help you, uh, actually will help you if you actually fallen into negative equities for any reason. Say for example, your house has been vandalized and uh, it needs works and it cannot be rented out and you want to get rid of it and it cannot actually be sold at the price that you should pay for it, you should actually get for the sale in order to pay off the mortgage. Say for example, um, you need, for instance, to achieve a sale of 147K, 147,000 pounds, in order for you to actually be able to pay the mortgage off and to pay your solicitor fees, pay tax and whatever else. Now, um, in this case, uh, what we can do is that, although, so basically going back to the market value, for some reason, uh, basically, uh, maybe the property has been vandalized or um, something has happened, the flood, I don't know, maybe the market has crashed, I don't know, there's many things that can happen, maybe you buy, you bought uh, too much of a higher, too, too high price, uh, there's many things. And the market only dictates that you can actually get 135k for it, most tops. So that doesn't cut it because then you actually need to um, fork out the difference between whatever mortgage balance is going to be paid off after the, the terms of the sale and your, um, your outstanding mortgage. So that could actually put you in debt, which is not good debt because you're actually Maybe you're going to own a th ten thousand pounds to a mortgage company um, after you sold the house. It's something that we don't wish to own to anyone. And then so you still have to fork out for a th the thousand not pound to to um, pay for uh, the lawyer in order to the solicitor in order to do the sale. So obviously this is not something you want to do. And say for example, from our point of view, we would rather go for a lease option and help you that way then buying it as, um, as an auction. Let me explain why and how. Let's say um, you, you give up on this house, there's no lease option, nobody comes to rescue you and you just give up on it. So it comes on the open market. Open market is an auction. If you're on the open market, you, through a estate agent, you could actually get 135. Auctions are cash buys, so very likely you're going to get, get even less than that. So at the end, if your mortgage company repossesses you, maybe you're going to owe even more than £10,000 if you give up on it. 
But from our point of view, if say for example we buy for a hundred, uh, we buy cash, so we buy a below market value for a hundred, you think we're happy? We're not that happy. We would rather actually get it 147k uh, 10 years down the line and pay for that whatever, say for example, you need to pay uh, a month 450 to a mortgage company to, to satisfy them in interest. We would rather take over the 450 immediately so you don't, um, you don't actually lose the house. So you don't actually lose the house uh, because basically what happens, so let's say we buy for 100k, we have to um, find 25% of 100k, um, so which is 25,000 pounds, pay for stamp duties, pay for solicitor fees. That makes it in the region of say 26, 27,000 pounds, which we just got more than that actually, stamp duties are actually being 30,000 pounds. Just to, just to put our name on the title deeds. And then we have to come up with other money to refurbish it. Let's say maybe another 10,000 pounds. So 30 so 40,000 pounds. 40,000 pounds, yes, we can come up with, but is a lot of money. Whereas if we instead help you immediately by paying your monthly payment or 450 through the lease option agreement, and we agree to pay this or maybe slightly more than this, than this, then we know if we pay slightly more than this or this, then at the end of 10 years, we're encouraged to buy it. Very encouraged because at the end of 10 years, we've got um, a below market value deal, which is what we need in order to make money. So we only need maybe to pay 450 pounds, maybe for two to three months, because we in two to three months, very likely, the odds are that we're able to fix everything. With, instead of spending 30,000 pounds to get it, we only spent, what, 450 times three is pay, so we spent in the region of, so um, over, a, say, 1,500 pounds on new repayments for three months, plus the lawyer's fees, which is 1,500, so 3,000, plus another 10,000 uh, for the refurbishment, uh, so it'd be uh, 13,000 versus the 40,000. Obviously, with thirteen thousand pounds, immediately, I mean, we're able to actually cash flow it positively. So it's much better for us to get a positive cash flow, but while you still have the house through a lease option agreement, because that thirty thousand pounds can be used for maybe securing another five lease option agreements, whatever, um, or maybe another investment. Whereas if we actually get it through the auction, then we have to fork out 40,000 pounds in this example, for instance, wait to, to remortgage, uh, which is gonna take time, maybe minimum six months, and we've gotta deal with banks. It's, it takes time and therefore it slows us down. It does, it's not that, that profitable. Whereas if we do it through this way, bang, we're quite, we're cash flowing positively after three to four to five months, depending on what is got to be done, or even less many times. So it is much better, and then we're able, uh, no, normally doing this sort of calculations, we're able to get a payback on our investment, which is much quicker. Um, and maybe sometimes we have 50% payback, return on investment, 100%, it really depends on the, the, the situation. And then at the end of the 10 years, if it, we negotiated a 10 year deal, the near lease, then if the, the price that we negotiated is a good price at that time, then obviously we want to buy. So this actually shows you how it is profitable for us. It's much better for us to help you before a, a repossession through a lease option, help you work with you through a lease option, than having to actually uh, buy your property through an auction at a discount. Um, so because basically we're able to actually control much more properties and we're able to actually more effectively resolve that problem being cash po positive and we have that security of the contract of the lease option. Um, hopefully this is all so you understand how the lease option agreement is something that is good for us 
and is good for you if you're falling into negative equities.